What's up, you guys? Short in this prime here at San Diego Comic Con 2015 here at the Hasbro booth with the Transformers team. We have John and Jerry. How are you guys doing? Uh, we're doing awesome. Love Comic Con. Fantastic. Best day, best weekend of the year. Awesome. That's great to hear. And before we get started on the questions, I must say, first off, okay, thank you for Devastator. I'm so happy uh, with the Devastator figure. I just absolutely love it. Like, just geeking out in the bedroom, can't leave it. Moves it, move it to the kitchen, the living room. Like Devastator's got to be in every room all the time. So I just got to say thank you so much. That's fantastic. It was a difficult working on that figure. I mean, it sounds like it, you guys may have spent a lot of time, like throughout the whole process, trying to get that price point down and all that stuff. Yeah, definitely. You know, with the the uh, Jerry can speak to this, but I think when when we started this thing, it's. Uh, price was a factor. We wanted to make sure that we, we delivered on the promise of doing a Devastator. We wanted to make sure it was big. We wanted to make sure that it had um, it had six bots that could transform well. Um, and then getting those details as, as close to the original as possible, while the whole time pushing it forward, which is something we love to do in, in uh, Generations uh, Combiner Wars. Yeah, I think when we were looking at Combiner Wars, it, it was one of those things that we had to do Devastator. We wanted to do Devastator. He completed the Combiner Wars. He's like the number one Combiner. We we have to do it. We have to do it right. We got to do it in a big scale. He's the biggest of all the combiners. So when we we're looking at, it, you know, you start looking at costs. You start looking at your, you know, your tooling and all that kind of stuff in order to do this. And we settled on doing the six Voyager scale. Great story though. Takara Tomi actually showed us a six liter scale version, not made. It was in pencil form that they drew out. On, on <laughs> it was unbelievable. It was uh, it was unreal. It, it was one of those things where we looked. They said, "Here's the six Voyager." one and here's the six liter one and it was drawn out on graph paper wow. and we're looking at it, like, it out on the table yeah, yeah. Rolled out. And it, we literally were like you know what that might be too big like yeah, we, yeah. it was so so gigantic and then the price point also would have been very high uh, but it would have been masterpiece scale yeah it would have been uh, so we uh, end up selling because we felt for the scale of all the other combiners and with like the current Voyager scale the current leader scale that the Devastator we settled on the size was perfect. So awesome. glad to hear it's in your bedroom. Yeah, in your everywhere. Room, yeah. In your living room. And yeah, everywhere. Awesome. Yeah, That's awesome. One of yeah. my favorite toys I ever worked on. It, you can see the love in the figure. It's it's amazing. Uh, we have some questions from tformers.com too. So I yeah, wanted to ask. Uh, a lot of fans have commented on influences from Takara's Brave series and stylings of Hotspot and uh, Victorian. Are there Brave fans on the design team? Brave. Uh, I'm trying to think. Is that which 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 is that like Headmasters, Super God, Master Force, and Victory? Is that like in that? You know, the question, I, I, th I think so. I think that's where it's coming from. If, yeah. I, if I remember right, or, yeah. Yeah, I definitely like the Japanese series. They, it's it's um it's difficult because the ones that, I, that I've access to are subtitled. But we've been watching a lot of um, Victory, and, you know, I'm totally into Star Saber and stuff like that. You know, to, to really... To, I think, yeah, the Brave stuff came, like, the post. Yeah, yeah it's uh, to love Transformers is to try to really absorb as much as you can about all the different universes and minutia and the aspects that, that I think... I think that's really what brings us all together. You've got, you've got Armada fans, you've got Beast Wars fans, you've got G1 fans, you've got, uh, you've got the guys that like the obscure Japanese series. It's, and I think there's something unique about all that. Um, definitely we're influenced by all aspects of the Transformers universe and we try to bring it together but I think one of the most important things we we definitely want to keep we always try to push the brand forward even if we're taking looks back like the stuff we do we always try to like um, think about you know what is what is that fan of today gonna, gonna like the, the youngest our youngest fan or our fan that may have this might be the first Transformer they bought in 20 years you know yeah. like what is that how do you how do you make that the biggest impact possible so, so does that come from um, like do, do you have other influence like outside of Transformers that, that you try to like pull into the line to kind of push things forward and uh, I mean I, I I just love big robots I always have so you know obviously all, all different types of um, anime and things like that I enjoy I also like to build models in my spare time um, and then uh, you know movies and pop culture oh, in yeah, general I think sense. you know yeah. Transformers a lot of times is a reflection of the pop culture world we live in and I think to, to really be a good designer you really got to kind of keep your eyes open and think about what's in the world around you. And a sneaker collector. Yeah. And oh yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> crazy sneaker. You guys try them sneaker. 
Lakers, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah check it out. Oh, look, clean white ones. Yeah, yeah. Nice. yeah. Well, they're, they're actually like light gray. But, oh, uh, oh, sorry. Don't, don't. I, I want to put them down. I bought, I bought like four pairs of sneakers to the thing, oh, and, and I, I, I debated over, over like which ones do I bring? Cool. <laughs> All right, so Robots in Disguise has uh, been a little bit on the low key side as far as the reveals go. Have we seen everything planned for this year already? For this year, I, I believe so. Everything has been revealed. I know we had some reveals come out uh, at the media breakfast, uh, and we have, I think there might be some stuff at the very end of the year, but we have product already going into uh, 16, 2016, and throughout that year. We'll have more reveals as we get to uh, New York Comic Con timing, and then obviously Toy Fair in February. We're just kind of pulsing it out through the through the year, uh, okay. making sure which characters we're revealing. But uh, yeah, that's the that toy line, the Robots in Disguise line is doing very well. Uh, the this, this show's on Cartoon Network, and it, uh, it's got some great ratings. Uh, a lot of fans are excited by it, kids are excited by it. It's, it's a fun, uh, exciting show to watch, uh, and I think you can see that in the toy line. Awesome. All right, we'll, um, will we see any new more new molds added to the Combiner Wars line after Skylinks? New molds. Yeah, new molds. Uh, new molds. It's gotta, it's gotta be some. Yeah, yeah. I think we've got some. We've got some tricks up our sleeve still. Okay, okay. Yeah, we've right. got some stuff. Um, now, uh, while there's been uh, retools, uh, the, a lot of the retools have been impressive. I actually, like the the new exclusive, uh, the repaints for the for the three, you know, the three, yeah, the combiner, yeah, yeah, the combiner hunters. But um, do you, do you ever worry that the reuse of the existing figure designs may start getting a little old for fans or a little repetitious for us? Yeah. You think they're they're gonna wear their welcome wear their welcome out? Well, you know, Transformers historically has always had um, had characters that, that share the same uh, body types or molds or whatever. Prowl and Blue Streak uh, and Smokescreen being notable examples, the Seeker Jets. Um, so I think to do those guys any differently, I think would be doing injustice to to the brand. Um, yeah, you know, I, I think. Reuse of molds, I think, is a, a lot. A lot of times, it's something that we do so we can afford to, to get some of those great new characters like Skylinks in there, because uh -huh. um, we want to make sure that we deliver on awesome value for our consumer. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, I, I I hear what you're saying, but but uh, it's really definitely a balancing act, and we try to when we do do the the the, um, the redeco characters, we try to make them as meaningful as possible, and we try to actually make them still like we're, if it, if it doesn't make sense in our line, we're not going to do it. We're not just going to put something in there. So you try to say, yeah. It's a good balance. I mean, we have to, you know, looking at the molds, the molds we have, the tooling we have, but also making sure, you know, new heads, new accessories, new yeah. pieces that are appropriate for the character so that, you know, it's, it's you know, we can make the, the right character with the right look, and so that, and, and the fans can appreciate it. And speaking of right looks and good looks and stuff like that, I was asking the guys over at the uh, Marvel booth over there um, if they would make a Shardimus Prime action figure. <laughs> they sent me over here and said oh. that I was in the wrong department. <laughs> so are we going to get a Shardimus? No, we're not going to get a Shardimus Prime that, what you, what you at? There's new tooling involved. we got to get, uh, you know, maybe <laughs> so got, they have to reveal. And we're going to we're have to work with the licenser on that one. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's like, yeah. What would you want to be? What character? If we could well, make I'm a Shardimus Prime Transformer. The real question is, what is the alt mode, though, right? Yeah, what's the alt mode? Sanitation. Uh, I had originally Shardimus was going to be the seventh piece to Devastator. Oh. A sanitation vehicle. Oh. <laughs> oh. A sewage yeah. truck, yeah. Sewage yeah. Truck? yeah, yeah, yeah. But it basically looks like Optimus Prime without the mouth guard and a big nose instead. Okay. So All right. that's awesome. Right on. All right. Hey, thanks to you guys so much. Again, awesome stuff that we're seeing out over here. I'm very Thank excited. You. Yeah. And I hope you guys continue enjoying your San Diego Comic Con this year. Oh, All thanks, right. Man. You yeah, too. Thank you. All right. Yeah, Thank have you. a great Comic Con, cool. buddy. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Catch you guys later. Thank you.